hello libra how are you guys doing thank you guys so much for tuning in hope you're having a good week so far as you guys already know this is going to be yet another general reading to see what kind of lunatic may try to come towards my libras please keep in mind the situation can be reversed or vice versa at any given point if you are watching this for a libra the libra may have done x y and z also libra please do not forget to hit the like button for me please if you like what is going on here also, Libra, if this does not seem to uh, resonate for you, this just may not be your message right now. So don't forget to check your other placements, your moon, your rising, and your Venus. So let's see. Libra, brace yourself. <laughs> let's see what is coming towards Libra in love. What do we have for Libra? What is coming towards Libra in love, spirit? What messages do you have for Libra in love? Libra, passion. Your relationship can grow stronger or burn out depending on your choices. You have caution. Don't get involved with this person too deeply as they are not who they seem to be. Okay, <laughs> that's so creepy, right? All right, so let's see what the freak that's about. <laughs> okay, let's pull one of these cards. Libra, let's see what we got. What is coming towards Libra in love? Libra. Libra. Ooh. So Libra, you have an addiction is affecting this relationship. All right. Bottom of the deck, you have a warning. Don't dismiss the red flags here. Yikes. Let's get a guidance card. Libra in love. What can you tell them for Libra in love? Libra. Thank you. All right, you have guidance. When you make divine intelligence your foundation, you finally have fixed you finally have a fixed star to follow. So a lot of you uh maybe becoming a little bit more spiritual, right? More spiritually aware. Um you're starting to kind of some of you, I don't know why I'm here. You may be getting into the law of attraction, okay? Um, but you're pretty much starting to understand um, divine timing, right? You're starting to understand that some things are, are out of your control. Some of you are really starting to get a lot of spiritual knowledge, okay? All right, so let's see what's going on for me, guys. One more shuffle. Libra. All right, Libra, you could be dealing with a Leo. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Overall energy, Libra, for love is the two of pentacles reverse. This could be you or your person. Um, somebody is a juggling and they have probably too much, right? This could happen when someone's juggling multiple people. Um, this card can show up in reverse. Um, for others of you, this could be like someone has too many things to do, okay? Uh, finances may be trouble for this person, okay? Um, if you're in a relationship, you may be trying to find some kind of balance in your relationship. And it's almost like you can't. You can't, okay? So let's see what's going on here. What is coming towards Libra in love? What is coming towards Libra in love? Libra. Libra. Ooh, what the hell's going on? Okay, what the hell's going on? Okay, let's do that again. We're going to take the Two of Cups, though. What's coming towards Libra in love? Libra. Libra. What is coming towards Libra in love? Okay. So things may have started off very passionate, hot and heavy with whoever the hell this person is, Libra. Okay. You could be connected to a fire sign is what I'm picking up. Okay. But maybe you guys move very fast, okay? This person could be long distance. Maybe you guys met online, but Eight of Wands is in the reverse at this point. So it can definitely indicate um, to where there was a lot of infatuation, sparks were flying, right? But it was a lot of passion, right? It was a lot of passion. Um, but at this point, someone may be looking back like, okay, was this love or was this just infatuation, okay? If you're in a relationship maybe you feel as though 
you know, the passion, the excitement is burning out in your relationship, okay? Um, you don't feel much of a connection with your partner anymore, okay? That could be what it is. But you have the Eight of Swords reverse, Libra. You have the King of Wands reverse, so there we go. The fire is here. <laughs> what is coming towards the Libra and love, Libra? But you need to be careful with this person, Libra, because this person is definitely a player from the Himalayas. I know you guys haven't heard me say that shit in a long time. This is a player from the far Himalayas. This is an online player from the Himalayas. What is coming towards Libra and love, Libra? But there's a, a connection here. What is coming towards Libra and love? What is coming towards Libra and love? There's a connection here, Libra. There is. So, um, obviously, if this is not your partner, th there is a connection here. But at the same time, I feel like, Libra, you find yourself overthinking this too much. You find yourself um, feeling as though things are one-sided, okay? You feel as though this person is not really pulling their weight. They're not really putting the work in. Okay, so some of you may have cut this person off or you may be thinking about cutting this person off. Okay, because I feel like if, if, and I always say this, if you have to constantly be in this energy with someone, is it worth it? Is this the person for you? Do they love you? Because I feel like this person always leaves you in your head and that's not good. And the reason why they leave you in your head is because they're probably slacking off. They're probably slacking off. And you could feel it, okay? So I see you, Libra, getting into the Queen of Swords energy. Whoever the hell this person is, um, if you haven't cut them off already, I think that you're ready to uh, cut them off. Off with their head, okay? Um, because this person, looks like, I feel like this person keeps disappointing you, Libra. To be quite honest with you, King of Wands reverse is a womanizer. Even if this is a woman, this is a man eater, <laughs> whatever you want to call it, okay? This is somebody who has multiple people. So we were seeing that two of coins in the reverse in the beginning. That's kind of, yeah, it's making sense now. Because you could have a connection with, you know, a player all you want, but, you know, are they going to... They rarely change their ways. I don't see that this is someone who wants to change their ways. I do feel like this person does feel very connected to you, Libra. They do feel connected to you, but at the same time, I don't feel like they're ready to give up their player ways. Okay. The Ace of Cups is here, Libra. I feel like you have new love surrounding you. You have someone totally new coming towards you, Libra. Because I'm seeing an, an air sign and a fire sign. And because some of you are very focused on this loss, what went wrong with this King of Wands reverse, this person, whoever this person is, that wreaked havoc on your life, okay? You're very focused on the whys, okay? The who, what, the when, the where, the why, okay? And you're, you may not be seeing that there's a connection here, Libra that's already around you you may be focused on the wrong person for some of you okay if this is not you this is how your person's feeling maybe they're focusing on a player or someone who's full of crap rather than focusing on the person who really has their best interest at heart i feel like one person has your best interest at heart libra but this other person they're doing whatever the hell it is that they really want to do ace of cups new love true love pure love king of wands reverse and this cannot go together because the king of wands reverse is not going to give you pure love he's going to give you some pure some pure lust okay some pure dick some pure panani or whatever you want to call it that's what they're going to give you okay but this cup is coming from someone else libra i feel like this new person is going to um this is someone who is genuinely interested in you, Libra. Could be an earth sign, but this person is genuinely interested. And when I see the page of coins, it says a new person to me, okay? Uh, there will be a lot of communication, right? Back and forth communication between you guys. I feel like this person is going to try to arrange meeting up with you, Libra, um, and getting to know you in person, getting to know you better, 
okay? But there's a need for you to move forward. You got to move forward from whoever the hell this person is. That's what you have to do. Because you're already feeling burdened. You're already feeling um, stressed out, weighed down. Okay? It's like it's time to, to take out the trash. That's what I'm here. It's time to take out the damn trash already. Because it's like this is as far as you're going to get with whoever the hell this person is. Because they're, they're, they're full of crap. They're a player. Okay? Um, like I said, Libra. So the more you focus on this person... It's like you may miss this opportunity, okay? This person, you're focused on, you know, who hurt you in the past, the wrongs that were done in the past. Um, you know, if you were cheated on or whatever injustice happened to you, Libra, you feel like you haven't been treated fairly. You haven't been treated um, right. And um, you're really going to make this person prove themselves. This new person, I feel like you're going to make them prove themselves. And they will. They will prove themselves. But the more you hold on to grudges, right? Or you hold on to what went wrong, what happened to you, the wrongs. Um, I feel like this is going to really, this can potentially cause you to miss out on a good person, Libra. Okay? That's what I'm feeling. You could be healing from a Sagittarius, but... I feel like there's a need for you to heal, okay? And that's what some of you are doing right now. There's a need for you to heal um, and to pretty much find closure within yourself from what happened with this person because it's easier said than done. It is easier said than done, okay? But it's something that needs to happen because justice reverse, you may feel like you never got answers. You may feel like you never got closure, but... Sometimes you won't get closure. Just have to find we have to find it within ourselves to forgive ourselves and to move on. So forgive this person, Libra, and forgive yourself more most importantly. By doing that, you this connection, this person, this new person, this new energy that I see, you're gonna be able to really open your heart to this person, Libra. Okay? Because there's a whole lot of passion, very big spark between you and this person. This new person that's coming through, Libra. This person's really going to get you excited again, or just it's like it's almost like this person will really be um an inspiration for you. They will be an inspiration for you, Libra. But some of you may be conflicted. I don't know. Should I let my heart go? Should I think, you know, should I follow my heart? Should I follow my mind? Which one should I follow? Should I let this person in? Are they going to hurt me? So Libra, you may have a lot of trust issues right now with the Seven of Pentacles, okay? Um, and you're like, I don't know if this is going to work out. I don't, is this the person for me? So we're just saying just take it slow with this other energy, okay? Um, and to go with the flow. Don't try to force things with this new person. Don't overthink it with this new person. But this other fire sign, whoever the hell this person is, they got to go. They got to go. They may still have baggage them damn selves that they're working through. But either way, this person in reverse is no good. Because all, all this person in reverse can do is play you. Okay? That's all they can do. All right? So, I just want to clarify this Five of Cups really quick. Libra, what is this Five of Cups for Libra? This person, this other person may even have addictions or whatever the hell their issue is. They have a lot of problems. Yeah, Libra, you're overthinking it. You're going to miss this opportunity, Libra. You're going to miss the opportunity with someone much better because you're in your head a lot. You're in your head a lot. You're not really at peace with what happened in the past or this person isn't. So even if there is a connection here, they got to close that chapter. They got to forgive already and move on. Okay, that's what's keeping someone stuck at this time. Okay, so um, Libra, let's do a work and career for you guys. Welcome to your work and career segment. All right, you guys have been, you know, giving me views. So let's get that segment. What is coming towards Libra and work and career? Work and career for Libra. What is coming? Work and career for Libra. Working career for Libra. What the hell? 
So, working career for Libra. What is coming? Working career for Libra. What is coming? So, Libra, are you getting into a... Uh, all right. Actually, let me not jump to conclusions. Um, Libra, I feel like you're tapping into your fire energy, okay? You don't have to be a fire sign to be a king of wands, but I feel like you're tapping into this energy. Um, it's almost like you have to step up. You have to step up, Libra, and you're going to be stepping up. You may be stepping up into a certain position, okay? But I see you really needing to assert yourself in order to stand out. Um, and you will stand out when you assert yourself, okay? There may be competition in your workplace. You may be in a competitive type of job. Um, maybe you apply for a certain position. You apply for a certain position that a lot of people want. For example, let's say you want to work at, I don't know, Mac in New York, right? Um, and you know a lot of, you know, makeup artists, whatever, want that position. I feel like you're going to have to fight for it, Leah, Libra. And you're going to fight for it and you're going to come out the victor. Um, you're really going to assert yourself. So if you assert yourself, Libra, you're going to get your desired results. What is coming towards Libra and work and career? Anything else? Libra, work and career. What is coming? Who Libra. I like that. I really do like that. Um, you have the queen of wands in death. Like I said, you're changing up how you approach your work. And this is definitely going to make you stand out. Um, if you're looking to get a raise, if you're looking to get a certain position, whatever it is, you doing this, you're shutting off your emotions, Libra. Um, maybe some of you tend to be the nice one, you know, the nice guy or whatever it is. Um, you, no more Mr. Nice Guy. <laughs> no more nice Libra. Okay, Libra is really a boss here. Um, and Libra is getting, Libra is winning. Okay. So that is what I have for you, Libra. Thank you so much for tuning in. I love you guys so much. See you guys next time.